The Bristol Bar and Grill, um, we've been in business since 1977, currently have five locations. Um, we um, are an upscale casual restaurant and also a big focus on working with local Kentucky farmers as well. We got started working with local farmers um, since we've opened. Um, we've had a tradition of working with what's called backdoor farmers and it's literally people that would come to the back door. We buy produce from them. Um, it's been very beneficial for us and also the local farmers in doing this. Um, within the last couple of years, there's been a lot more structure in Kentucky with thanks of uh, programs like Farm to Table. We've been able to have a more structured system put in right, place. Guys, we're going to talk about our specials tonight. I want there to be an emphasis on our local products that we're serving. Guys, remember how important that is. We're talking to all of our guests about it. Um, the special our chef is going to do tonight is a... Early uh, last year, 2011, we made a commitment at each of our Louisville locations to put a section on the menu that says um, Kentucky Proud Feature of the Day. It looks really good. That's our airline chicken breast from Marshberry Farm. Yes. All right. And Weissenberger Mill Polenta. Yes. And I know you like to use uh, bourbon on lots of stuff, so I bet that yes. sauce has got some bourbon in it, doesn't it? Yep, very bourbon. Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson's <laughs> Old Kentucky River Bourbon. What we would do is do a special usually involving some sort of cut of meat, whether it's uh, poultry or beef or lamb um, or pork. I guess our expectations were that we could do something a little new, a little different on our menu, something that we felt good about. We also felt that it was helping out the local economy, local farmers were getting a better product. Um, what we didn't realize is that a year later into this, how big that it would have grown. Um, Currently here at our downtown location, we have four menu items that represent local farms and we still have the Kentucky Proud feature of the day. So there's five items on any given night at a minimum. Um, in the summertime, this past summer, we probably ran about 80% of our produce at local Kentucky Proud produce. And um, so we're very happy to do that. And um, so we've just seen this grow and grow and grow. Here is the airline chicken. The uh, chicken itself is from Marksbury Farms in Lancaster, Kentucky. And then, sir, the tonight's special, the 10 ounce ribeye. And that is from Stone Cross Farms in Taylorsville, Kentucky. And the carrots, again, are from Field Day Farm here in Jefferson County. And both of those are complete uh, Kentucky Proud products. The big thing with this has been the response that we've gotten from our guests. Um, we have um, we've been introduced to a new clientele that's out seeking restaurants that are supporting local farmers um, and that's been fantastic to increase our clientele but um, what's probably even more exciting is that we've had our regular customers that have been part of our clientele for years and years and years. We're seeing a lot of these guests that are just really excited about it. They are happy to be a partner in this and take ownership in this, which is really what everyone's doing that comes in and dines with us, is that they're making that partnership not only with us, but with Kentucky farmers. Hi, how's everyone this evening? Excellent, great, yeah, excellent. Great. I understand you had a few questions about some of the local products? Well, I was really interested in the, uh, the lean cut pork chop, and, and it says pasture raised. I didn't, I've heard that said about chicken, but how does that work with pork? Yeah, well, it's, it's actually fantastic. I we, you know, are, are still in the phases of meeting new farmers, um, getting out, seeing their growing methods or production methods, and able to translate that to our customers, which makes our mill a much more personal mill um, that, um, that they seem to enjoy a lot more. Right. What we're really going to be seeking really soon is produce and stuff. So, so produce is right around the corner. Yep. Um, lettuce, we can probably start with lettuce. I don't know, it's not a big high ticket item. Tell me what your, what your preference is. Is your preference? The, the farm to table program has been the key, most significant thing for us. Sarah Froshner came to us um, and really got us involved with this. She's been a fantastic partner in this. Um, you know, without Farm to Table, this connection between restaurants, farmers, retailers, it just doesn't happen. I mean, our farmers have been growing produce and meat here for years and years and years, and we've been able to have some small connections, but not to the extent that, that we have now. So I would say that the Farm to Table program is, in my opinion, the key thing that has really helped to uh, 
increase the availability of these products in you know, what I can speak for, the, the Louisville area. Do you have one? I think that there is great potential with this. Um, again, I think we are past what our expectations were at this point. We have a very clear objective. We're all working hard towards it. And you know the enthusiasm that's followed from, from our customer base and just the community itself has been overwhelming. Thank you.